Wow, this is pretty good. Jesus. This is where you spent all your pocket money, eh? Oh, stop. That's hot spring water. That's hot spring water. Don't play in my house. Good morning, guys, and welcome back to Journey Across Japan, non-stop north, 2,000 kilometers, 21 days of despair. Now, this morning, we're in Izaka Onsen, lovely, beautiful onsen town in North Fukushima that is also the Gyoza Dumpling Capital of North Japan. Izaka is a beautiful town. I've always wanted to come here. Ever since I came here about three years ago, I had the best Gyoza of my life, as we'll see in a bit. But uh, this morning, we frantically drove from south to North Fukushima ever since yesterday when we met up with Ryotaro, and he took us on a little bit of a detour, albeit a fun detour, a detour that included geisha and catching an eel with my own hands. That wasn't so fun, that bit. But later today, we're going to go and take a tour of Ryotaro's house, God forbid. But before that, let's go and find the man himself. I think he's resting his feet in one of the hot springs around town. All right, just a splashy, splashy, fun time. Fun oh, 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 sorry, yeah, sorry. Oh, I'm sorry, sorry about that. Okay. Yeah. This kind of nice. It's very nice. I guess it's you need it. Town. You need it after your two hour drive this morning. Yes, yes, yes. I was yes, having yes. a lovely sleep in the passenger exactly. seat. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I, I'll post on Instagram on that. Yeah. No, no, no. You sleep. So today we've got no challenge. The challenge was try and get across Fukushima in time to see the Otto's house <laughs> in South Miyagi near Sendai. Yes. Uh, but there's one good thing today that I've been looking forward to. That is Gyoza, right? Yes, it's a UFO. It's kind of circular UFO style. Obviously, when you think of gays, you think like four or six like on a plate, but this, they sort of shape them into a circle. Exactly. Um, but it's not a gimmick, it's incredibly delicious. Yes. Gays are, yes. I've never had anything quite like them. But anyway, less bath let's time, go. more gays. Let's, let's go. go, let's, let's go. go. <laughs> <laughs> The key characteristics of Enban gyoza include their arrangement on a large circular plate and the crispy underbelly that forms outside the gyoza while they're frying. Today we're visiting Dan Hiru, said to be the origin of these unidentified frying objects, first created over 60 years ago. <laughs> it smells so damn good. You know, it's hard talking when you've got the perfect lunch cooking overhead. Exactly. The smell of the pork, the batter, a sizzling sound. It feels less like a cafe, more like we've just broken into someone's house. Uh, there's so much stuff going on here. It's very like retro style. Yeah, the Showa. Yeah, yeah it's style. cool. Very nice. Hey, wow, wow, look at that. Wow. The, the crispiness you can feel, I should have been outside. So I've come here one time before, and yeah. I remember vividly, like, the best gaze I've ever had. Yeah. So crispy on the outer shell. Yes, yes, yes. The nice pork in the inside. Wow. Oh, yeah. This is the UFO. <laughs> That's cool. So what aspects of the gyoza is famous here? Is it that presentation style? It's a presentation, and like you, you said it actually, it's a crispiness. Right, right, right. Because um, the gyoza that you normally eat at the gyoza places like all over Japan, it's kind of, oh. it's what like softer, you know what I mean? Yeah. They don't, they don't make it this crispy. Yeah, I mean gyoza comes in many forms, right? Mm. Sometimes it's, it's crispy on the top and soft on the bottom, sometimes it's crispy the whole way around. Right. But this is my favorite type of yeah. gyoza. Look, it's crispy outside. And there we go, and it's soft like, on the bottom. It's on the bottom. That's, that's the, the whole secret. Wow. Yeah. Wow, wow. Yeah, you're now we're talking. This is the ultimate lethal weapon. <laughs> That's so good. Mm. Oh my God. When this plate came out, I was like, how the bloody hell are we gonna eat all that? No, I know we can. <laughs> Two pieces in, I'm like, yeah, I'm gonna <laughs> demolish this plate without any problem. I've been wanting to I've been wanting to film this place for a long time actually. Yes, I mean we I don't know how I never did. We have always talked about this. Place. Mm. I mean, Izaka and, um, and try this uh, gyoza together. And finally, a dream came true. Dreams do come true. And then brought you bad shop. <laughs> <laughs> Questionable dreams sometimes. <laughs> so, 
So guys, I've just snuck away from Riotero for a few minutes. I'm in the back of the RV where the editors work. And I've snuck away because I want dessert, but I ain't sharing my dessert with him. And today's dessert comes compliments of Sakurako, the sponsor of this episode. Sakurako is a monthly authentic Japanese snack subscription box that supports local snack makers around the country. Each box comes packed full of 20 traditional and artisanal sweets and snacks, including teas and even special Japanese tableware. And this month's theme is the beauty of winter in Hokkaido, where snow blankets the landscape for several months of the year, and Hokkaido becomes a peaceful and inviting place. The box starts with this beautiful booklet, illustrating the stories behind each and every one of the snacks featured within the box, as well as all important allergy information. And the box ends in my mouth. And we kick things off with cheese arare. Camembert stuffed biscuits. Of course it was going to be this. Oh wow, beautifully crunchy with the taste of the sweet camembert within. And after camembert we need, oh, Saku Saku Shikaku milk chocolate biscuits from Hokkaido with the branding of a cow. Mm. Rich buttery cookie with a little bit of white chocolate tucked in there, beautiful. And what better way to wash all that down than with the matcha genmaicha tea using actual brown rice from Hokkaido and tea leaves from Shizuoka. Mm. Oh, beautiful, nutty aroma. Oh, that's the good stuff. Whether you're buying the Sakurako box for your bestest friend in the world or keeping it greedily for yourself, you can find out more in the link in the description box below. Approximately one identified frying object's worth of gyoza later, it's time to head across the border from Fukushima to Miyagi to see this mystery house that Risotero has so recently purchased. So we're almost at the town of Zhao, which is about 30-40 minutes south of Sendai, and it's kind of like a resort town. But Riostro has bought a house there, right? Second house. Second house, treating it like monopoly. First step to the monopoly, yes. Big money moves for Riostro. I, uh, so you're, you're, it's not your house though, you're not going to live in it. You're no, just no, renting it out. Renting right? it out in a 20 AMB. So anybody could stay there? Yeah, I think so. You can stay there, you can come to Riostro's house, you can trench it by all means. And you can head back. The old treasure studio, right? Yeah, no, no, no. <laughs> head back off to Europe and they trenched his house. I don't trash his house. I'm sure it's lovely, but uh, this area used to come here a lot when I lived in Sendai. It's kind of like a resort town with your hot springs, skiing, mountains. Bears would literally throw past the bear sign. <laughs> uh, it's pretty famous for like in Bao Zhao, right? So we, remember, we skied. We did ski there once on like, like, uh, it Almost died, almost died. You lost, you were lost in snow. It was all right, but you're fucking scared. Yeah, I mean, we went skiing in a blizzard and it was a terrible idea. I have PTSD from, I'd rather not bring it in. Other than that, I love Zhao, it's amazing. Aww. So here we are at Riotero's swanky countryside retreat. Casa Swanky countryside retreat. What I'll say is, yeah. the kind of bamboo trees there yeah, and yeah. the rock, the rock table. Yeah. This is really rocks, nice, yes. man. <laughs> well, the Zen rocks really add something. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. I think that's a criticism. Certainly, you beat your neighbours. <laughs> they, they know he's the boss of this neighbourhood. Yeah, there you go. It's this muppet right here. Before we go in and take a tour of this lovely residence, though, I've got a gift for you. Yes. Given you've uh, you just moved in, it wouldn't be. <laughs> <laughs> you need a book you, to go in there. You, I mean, <laughs> you came for this, huh? I, 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 I know, I know you came for what? This. What better way to kick off your new place than with a best-selling book by <laughs> a Broadridge? <laughs> so you came here to look for a place where you put <laughs> in my swanky little. Got to get rid of the book somehow. No, it's a good book that though. Mm. Something <laughs> times better. Like anyway. Come on, take it away. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, you all. Oh wow! Wow, this is pretty good. Jesus. Big interest. This is where you spent all your pocket money, eh? <laughs> the woodwork's really nice on the floor, oh, the windows, mm. the drawers. Mm. This is good, and the nice lighting as well. Yeah, it's like very Japanese, you know. So this right. is the kitchen and uh, this is the dining. It's yeah. nice, like really well lit, really spacious. Yeah. It's got that cozy log cabin yep. wooden feel, yep. right? Like yep. in the winter months, this area gets pretty stuffed when it comes to snowfall, so yeah. I think you'll come in here and feel kind of warm and cozy, right? And also it's got the, uh, the floor heating mm. as well. Floor so, heating. Yeah, so it's really warm in the winter. Big pocket money spending here. Yeah. Okay. Mat room, 
And this walks as like a bedroom, actually, for two people. Okay, this is yeah. crazy. I like there's like some sort of futuristic, weird shaped <laughs> air conditioning yeah, in there. Exactly. I, I didn't, never knew it was something like this. It's kind of like a UFO shaped. Yeah. What is it? Everything today is UFO. UFO <laughs> gazer, UFO, UFO air conditioning. UFO air conditioning. Um, yeah, let's check this out. Look, it kind of goes in the corner, fits nice and snug. Yeah. yeah. And then you've got a shrine. The shrine, little shrine there. Your um, I don't know, I'll, I'll, I'm going to put some like, you know, mannequin or stuff like that on the top or yeah. something. Just, you know. Beautiful. Beautiful. Yeah. Well, this is cozy, I like this. Open up. Doom! Come on in! Whoa! And uh, this is the living room. There's a lot of, uh, of colours going on in this room. Exactly. <laughs> you've got the wooden table, you've got blue chairs, yeah. you've got multi-coloured pillows, you've exactly. got a green wall. Everything, everything. So, colourful room. Oh, colourful. Yeah. Colour I'm colourful. not sure if it works or not, really. <laughs> I think it, it kind of works. Yeah, uh, it's kind of You decide in the comments. <laughs> um, but the best thing in the room, the gaudy yellow rocking chair. <laughs> oh, God. What is... The, you're gonna, it's going to break. <laughs> yeah, exactly. There goes the renovation. I don't, don't want to break it because... Yeah. <laughs> it's like I actually made a I actually read it out. worrying, yeah. creaking noise. This yeah. is cool, though. I imagine yeah. you just sort of... You come here alone sometimes, just sort yeah, of sit so here. Yeah, you know, read your Abroad in Japan book, like, hey, right. that's like, you know, just... Chapter... Uh, there's a chapter with you in it, actually. Oh, really? Yeah. What do I talk about? I met a dickhead in Sendai. Oh, yeah, sure. Who sure wanted all my money. Up here, the massive bedroom. Uh, so it's all tatami mat as well. And then, um, so we have, uh, I think, up to seven futons ready. Yeah, I mean, it's pretty spacious. Yeah, exactly. So, uh, so if you, you know. Love the ceiling. It kind of looks like it's a, a, a kind of a light, yeah. a skylight. Well, yeah. actually, it's not. It's just some lights with some kind of shorty windows. Yeah, today's well. a bit dark, but like, you know, in the morning and the sun comes in, it's very, the sun is very shiny. Yeah, 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 it's very nice. And over here, you have a view to see the mountain I nearly died on. Yeah, when yeah. Rotter was like, Let's go skiing in the blizzard. Yeah, that could have been an anniversary, you know. What could possibly you know? go wrong? The fucking nightmare. Get PTSD looking at those mountains. <laughs> um, it seems only fitting you should have a house looking at them. Of course. <laughs> of course you do. Yeah, that's, that's one of the reasons I bought this place. You know, what so. the heck is this, though? It's all like in a storage, actually. This is... Open up. What the... What is that? <laughs> this is like where Riotro puts the bodies of his victims. We went inside the house, we found all the bodies upstairs. What a, what a corpse. He concealed them in the attic. Yeah. They were piled pretty high and covered in gyoza. He ate <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Next yes. up is actually a parking lot. I mean, the space, the garage. Oh. What a thrilling tour this is. Yeah. It's got, this place has got a team with a. What is it? What is it? It's like it's like it's <laughs> another, oh my another, god! Another, it's like, another body, body storage. This is where fucking Harry Potter lived his life out under the stairs. Who's let me out, Mr. Dudley? Oh wait, or Mr. Dur I forgot what his name is, Mr. Dursley. <laughs> Come on into the garage. So, this is the garage. This is, this is very spacious. Whoa! Automated doors, so you can reenact Indiana Jones. I'm not gonna make it in time. <sighs> Pathetic. Pathetic. Don't play in my house. What's this? By the way, this is a um, bathroom. This is the big ticket item. Yeah. This is amazing. Yeah. It's a rock onsen. Actually, this is like a natural hot spring coming it's out. No. Yeah. So this is magic. It looks like a red thing. Yeah, just turn, turn it, open it. Yeah, to the left, to the left. Oh! <laughs> so this is, that's, that's hot spring water. That's hot spring water. How the hell do you get that? Well, there's a pipe from hot spring. So these houses around here, they all have hot spring, natural hot spring, like a pipe. Do you have to pay extra for that? How does yeah. it work? Yeah. It's like the right, it's a license. So I notice, when the water comes out, it's clear, but then it looks very brown here. What's yeah. going on? What have you been doing in the bath? Why is it all so brown? <laughs> because it's got, a, it's got so much mineral, especially the iron, in it, so that it makes a chemical reaction. It touches the oxygen. Oxidizes. Oxidizes, and oh, then it wow. becomes like kind of red. Kind of is it alkaline, brown. acidic? Uh, acidic. acidic. Oh, no, I'm not sure, sorry. So, <laughs> that's, so, that's a professional. But it's good for your body, that's for sure. So Riotro decomposes his victims in his bath <laughs> and sticks them in the acid. <laughs> the perfect place for a Netflix crime documentary. Yeah. <laughs>
beautiful. So this actually, is going to be a unique uh, facility, I guess. Actually kind of jealous. Yeah. Bastard. Well, Riotter, I hate to admit it, but not only do I love it, but I'm, I'm kind of, yeah, a little bit envious, to be honest. You've actually done something good for once. It's the first time you envy me. Oh. <laughs> it might well be, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but it's been a long day, we've travelled pretty far, and yeah. uh, I'm looking forward to getting a towel and hopping in the hot spring. We're actually taking a plunge in the pool. What are you talking about? No, not... My family is coming soon. We need to get out. You literally said we could stay here, me no. and the team. No. You no, said, you said no I could, never said that. You, you sort of indicated we could stay here, though. That's what, I'm renting this out. Oh, oh. So just get out. Just what, get what? out. Yeah, there's a reason we don't put Riotta out in the videos anymore. Unbelievable. I gave him a nice, great book, and he goes and throws me out of his house. I did actually think we were going to stay here, not going to lie. But luckily, we are quite close to Sendai City, so we'll go and try and find a hotel there. Tomorrow, we're going to Matsushima Bay, one of the most scenic sites in Japan, for a very special video that I've got planned for our next guest, Mr. Sea Dog voice actor himself. But uh, for now, guys, as always, many thanks for watching Journey Across Japan. We'll see you tomorrow to do it all over again, right back here. And uh, what else are you doing here? Get I've... the fuck out of my property. Yeah, what a horrible man. Horrible man indeed. Get the fuck out of my property. I'm tired, I'm cold, I'm hungry, and I'm stuck on an abandoned remote Japanese island. What the hell have I done?